to the game over. How do you feel about playing a game against a team coached by a former player? <clears throat> and I said, boy, it seems like as long as I've been in coaching, we've run into teams coached by former players or coaches that have been with us, or in some cases, uh, people that have played for us and have then coached for us and then have gone on uh, to coach somewhere. Obviously, uh, Steve Alford was one of our really outstanding players uh, coaching the Southwest Missouri team last night. Uh, he's done a really good job with his team. I kind of needled Steve a little bit before the game, and I said that his team uh, played a lot better defense than, than he did as a player. Uh, but Steve, uh, during the four years that he played for us, just made uh, superlative contributions uh, to Indiana basketball. And he's done a very, very good job uh, coaching. I um, went on to, somebody went on to ask me about, well, how do you feel about these guys coaching? And I said, well, I, I first stopped to, to think how I failed them, how, how I uh, allowed them to get into coaching in the first place instead of getting into something uh, that in many regards could be uh, a lot more enjoyable and, and something that uh, you could do without uh, nearly the hassle and, and be able to do uh, where not everybody in the world knew more about what you were doing than you yourself do. But we have kind of the same thing in tonight's game uh, with Bob Donawald's Western Michigan team. Uh, Bob uh, has done a, a, a great job uh, coaching. He, I first met him when he was a coach at South Bend St. Joe's uh, where John Laskowski and Tom Abernathy played for him, who again uh, became outstanding players uh, for us. And Bob was on our staff uh, for several years prior to going to Illinois State where he did an outstanding job. And he's done the same thing uh, at Western Michigan. He's got a very, very um, well-coached team that he's uh, brought in here to the tournament. They already have a game uh, uh, under their belt uh, uh, against a Big Ten team, Michigan. Uh, they beat Michigan at Ann Arbor back early in the, in the season, which has never been a particularly easy thing for us to do or anyone else. And they've had several other uh, really good wins uh, along with that. Um, North Carolina Charlotte was an NCAA team a year ago with a lot of people back uh, from that team. And, and Bob's team uh, handled them pretty easily last night. Uh, what you can look for uh, in tonight's game uh, from Western Michigan uh, is a defensive team that helps extremely well. Uh, they really move to help. The ball goes into somebody in the post, and, there's, and they've got another guy very quickly coming to the post. They do a really good job of double teaming things in the post. We're going to have to be able to get the ball into the post step the postman out, fly somebody else in. Uh, our postman is going to have to work very quickly uh, inside, or he's going to be in a position where uh, he's going to get tied up a lot with the ball. Then the second thing they do is, let's say you've got a drive going to the bucket. They move in to help very well. Uh, you throw it out, they recover quickly. It's a very, very good defensive team. I think probably the most solidly uh, put together defensive team uh, that we will have played yet this year. Our offense has been something of a problem for us uh, in terms of some of the judgments that we make, uh, the sharpness with which we execute things, and it will very definitely be um, uh, tested to the fullest uh, in tonight's game with Western Michigan. Then at the other end of the floor, uh, they're a quick team, uh, Bob has done a, Bob's one of the really good coaches in college basketball, and he does an outstanding job in teaching things like ball possession, the value of the ball, uh, shot selection, uh, utilizing offensive strengths. So they're going to be a team that really works to get what it can do best offensively each time down the floor. And again, uh, this is why we play in November and December. I think this is the conclusion of a really uh, difficult uh, uh, preseason schedule for us, difficult in terms of the quality of the team that we've played against. Uh, Steve's team was very well coached last night. Uh, Bob's team is going to be very well coached uh, today. Uh, they're going to be well set up to play us. They're going to try to take things away from us as we will uh, with them. I, I think it's the kind of uh, 
November and December that's really shown us uh, a lot about our team. We think our team uh, in the last 10 days has made some really good progress, uh, both offensively and defensively, and we hope we'll see some more of that same progress here uh, in tonight's game. I think it'll be one that, that you'll enjoy watching as a spectator and hope really enjoy as an Indiana fan. Each Sunday on TGV4, you have two chances to catch the latest from the coach on the Bob Knight Show. This season, Coach Knight speaks his mind at 11.30 a.m. and again at 10.30 p.m. right here on TGV4, Indiana Sports Station. Indiana going for its 16th straight Union Federal Hoosier Classic game of the Union Federal Hoosier Classic. It's the 6-2 Broncos of Western Michigan against the 8-3 Indiana Hoosiers. Indiana has now offered Southwest Missouri State team, ran the total of 31. Yesterday, Indiana coach Bob Knight went head-to-head -head with one of his former players. Tonight, he faces one of his former assistants. Indiana and Western Michigan is the 16th annual classic, and Western Michigan comes in at 6-2, Indiana at 8-3. Hello, everybody. John Laskowski and Ted Kitchell. Some great performances yesterday by both teams, but none better than William Gladness. Career-high 23 points. Yeah, he had a career-high 23. He scored them both inside and outside. And most importantly, made seven free throws, seven out of nine. So a big improvement for Indiana. They're going to have to get some inside scoring again tonight. For Western Michigan, Saudi Washington, 32 points. He was the leading scorer of all teams last night. Well, 32 last night. He had 33 in the first game against Michigan at Michigan. He's a guy that can really light it up. And remember, seven, seven of nine from the three-point range. Let's take a look at tonight's fueling factors brought to you by Sunoco. Come to the Sun at your neighborhood Sunoco location or Fast Max Convenience Center. For the Broncos from Western Michigan, rebounding going to be very important. Right now, they're negative two against their opponent, Indiana, a much bigger team. They're going to have to get on the board. Turnovers, they're averaging 17 a game, 20 last night against UNC Charlotte. Going to have to handle the ball if they expect to win here at Market Square. For Indiana, control the guards. The three guards average over 45 points a game with Saudi Washington leading the way at 23 points a game. And inside scoring for Indiana. They got 23 from Gladness last night, 16 from Patterson. They'll need all of that again tonight. We'll be back with the starting lineups after this. Andre Patterson is finding a lot more shots in the last two games. Tonight's starting lineups are brought to you by the Sagamore Health Network. And for the Broncos from Western Michigan, coached by Bob Donawal, at the forwards, Toothman and Jackson. Jackson being the leading rebounder. Inside, Van Timmerman. And at the guards, Johnson, who averaged 14 points a game, along with Saudi Washington, who had 32 last night against North Carolina Charlotte, including 7 of 9 from three-point range. For Indiana, the same starting lineup as last night. William Gladness, a career-high 23. The other forward, Andre Patterson, 16 last night. Luke Recker with 19. Michael Lewis, 10 assists last night. And leading scorer, A.J. Guyton. We'll be back with the opening tap. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. has just completed as well as the yearly greeting from Professor Bill Wiggins and we're ready for basketball Indiana and Western Michigan Indiana's won seven of their last eight games they've won all 31 Union Federal Hoosier Classic games this is the third meeting between the schools Indiana's won both games the last one in 92 let's take a look at some other scores in college basketball this afternoon Clemson defeats South Carolina that's a pretty good South Carolina team right there, too. Connecticut got 100 as they took care of Hartford. And Minnesota, a big win by 50 over Florida Atlantic. It's a confidence builder going into the Big Ten. Bob Donowal, his ninth season, uh, is by my former high school coach at South Bend St. Joe. He took a gangly 6'1", 150-pound freshman, and by the time I was a senior, he turned me into 29 points a game. Unbelievable. That man and that's where he wonders. Got, that's where he got that look. No, that, that, he no. got that look from watching you all that, the that look came from Tom Abernathy, because <laughs> he coached Aber the next year. Here's our <laughs> officials, Ed Hightower, Randy Drury, and Jim Burr. We are underway. Indiana has the first possession. Western Michigan, not surprisingly, start out in a man-to-man. Looks like the Indiana guys inside to try to drive, take it to the basket. Lewis with the open shot. Wide open, and it goes over the basket. Ted, another game I think we'll see 
where Indiana's playing. Another team plays very similar to the way Indiana plays. Of course, Bob Donald, five-year assistant coach at Indiana. There you see the season field goal percentage. Both teams approaching 50%, and the result, scoring more than 75 a game. Big rebound by Gladness. Change in the starting lineup for Western Michigan. Kimbrough has started instead of Von Timmerman. Kimbrough was questionable. He was hurt last night. They said they were going to let him warm up and then see what happened after that. Andre Patterson, free throw line. He's really not afraid to take a shot now. And he shouldn't be. His confidence is back. He's playing well. He had 16 last night. And he starts off with a very important two points here early, this, early tonight. First bucket of the game. And there's Kimbrough, number four. 5'11 senior and he's majority majority of the time he's going to be the ball handler he handles the ball he's more of the assist man you can see Washington he's the guy looking to score for shot Johnson 20 missed that shot he got 17 points last night off the bench that so earned him a starting role the big score is number 24 Saudi Washington 6'3 senior he can fill it up 24 and 20 the two guys they're going to continue to look to Outside shot off there. Rector missed the shot, fights again for the rebound. We're going to get Rector on the foul as he went back up the second time. Even though he had the position, Jim Burr felt like he jumped back into him. He'd like to have this in back because he should have made the first one. I'm sure he'd be the first one to tell you. Watch how he, see how he, that's a good call right there. Western Michigan definitely had the rebound. He jumped back into him. Johnson outside shot is good. That's and a three pointer. He was behind the line. And Western Michigan has the lead. Looks like a very confident group. AJ Guyton answers that one from the left side. That could be huge for Indiana. AJ Guyton just not a very good game last night. Did not play very well. Comes out here early tonight. They're going to get a charging foul. Wrecker went flying. And the foul goes on Rashad Johnson. Guyton had eight points and three rebounds. He is a start today. This is one of those games he never could get in sync. And uh, very important for him to get off early tonight. Wrecker, good passing there, but no shot. Good ball movement by Indiana, though. Steal by Kimbrough. Here's our first look at Washington. Very strong on that shot. Western Michigan had 10 steals last night. They average about 10 steals a game. Indiana being very patient, not trying to do things that aren't there. I think that's very important in their offense. Shot is off, and that rebound to Toothman. Indiana needs to take the ball inside against Western Michigan. Indiana, better club inside than Western Michigan. Right there, Great their strength. Number Sean Johnson, his second three-pointer. He averages 14 a game. He's feeling it tonight. You gotta give it to Gladness right there. You gotta give it to him. He's open on the on the block. You gotta continue to pound it in there. If they double down in on you, then you gotta throw it back out. Indiana not not even getting the ball down on the block right now. Michael Lewis going to be called with a blocking foul. Moving on the screen, Lewis picks up his first. Michael Lewis, his first personal, the team second. See him moving right there, leaned into him. Looks for Indiana to try some high-low with Patterson and Gladness inside. Johnson feeling it right now. He's wanting that ball against Wrecker. Inside. Sean Jackson passes it back outside. Good recovery there, helped by Gladness. There's Jackson. And Wrecker on the board can't control it. Tough shot there. Good defense not to make the foul on Johnson. But Western has control. Being able to get their hands on those balls, but not coming up with them right now. It's, it's a loose ball, almost like a turnover for Wrecker and also for Andre Patterson right there. And deflected. Once again, they got a hand on the ball, not able to come up with it. There it is, Wrecker with the steal. Ben and the layup. Could have been a foul on Kimbrough, but Randy 
Drury felt like there was no harm, no foul. Wrecker still able to get to the basket. Indiana able to get two points off defense. That was the loop cheer you hear from this partial Indiana crowd. They like what they see in the freshman. Now a foul outside. That's his second. Rashad Johnson picks up his second. Indiana with the early lead. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. Back in Market Square, where Indiana leads the Broncos 7-6. Let's take a look at Luke Recker on defense. Stepped into that lane just how Coach Knight would like to see it done. You're going to see Kimbrough's going to grab a hold of him right here. He kind of grabs his hand. Good call by the officials. Nothing. There's no call right there. He, they didn't, didn't stop him from getting to the basket. Good defense by Indiana. Recker had a good game last night was the most valuable player at the Indiana Classic earlier this month in Bloomington. And then a good shot to repeat here. That same on. Don't want to get too down, down too low on the baseline. Gladness open on the baseline. Guyton had it, and Kimbrough picks up the foul. I guess Kimbrough with the foul. You couldn't tell as they were down there on the baseline whether it's Patterson or Guyton who comes up with that ball. Good shot, good ball move by Indiana. See Guyton goes up strong right there. They felt like he grabbed his hand. They got him with the foul. There's the shooting. Both teams below their season's average. Guyton outside with good pressure misses. And Lewis saves it. He goes into the Bronco bench. Now finally back on the floor. Number four, Kimbrough, once, once Indiana got it back in play, take a look at Lewis. The Western Michigan, he felt he touched it too. Great save right there. That's a possession. That might be two or three points. You never know. Bill Johnson steps right in and lays it in. Rashad Johnson with the steal. Broncos use that steal a lot to turn into points. Scotty Washington, the guy getting most of the pub in the papers today, but... Johnson definitely ready to play here tonight. Indiana continues not to get it inside. There they do. That's where they need to get it, right there. Patterson misses the shot. Five lead changes already in this game. Eight to seven now, the Broncos. Indiana has it out of bounds. Indiana's big men, when, it, when the guards are cutting off of them, off of the baseline, that big man, like right here, Andre Patterson steps in. Once that guy cuts off him, he needs to step right into the middle. That's where the opening is going to be. Patterson, jump shot outside. Indiana kind of falling back on their jump shots. Patterson and Guyton is going to come up short, hit the front of the rim. Look for Washington to get on track soon. Guy that scores points like he does. Michael Lewis tried to come around the screen and picked up a foul. He's got the job of guarding Scotty Washington. Picked up his second foul. It's a big one. Michael Lewis, not an easy job tonight. Everybody going to be picking for Scotty Washington. Pretty good movement right here. You can see they called a hold on him. Very, very close. Toosman over there giving him a little bit of the body. Good oh, pass good inside. Pass. That was Johnson. And Jackson hits the layup. Jackson, a guy that's not going to shoot many shots farther out than that one he just took right there. He's a guy looking for layup. Only shoots 42% from the free throw line, so that tells you he's not a great shooter. Gladness hangs in the air to draw the foul. Last night we talked a little bit about William Gladness inside. Sometimes he gets so anxious, he makes an excellent move right here. If, it, if he would learn, because he catches it right, he gets around him, he's got to, if he get right here, and then a little shot fake, two but he get him up there, probably finish that with a three-point play. Right now he's just a little anxious. Gladness was 9 of 11 last night from the free throw line, but coming into the game on the season, he was 7 of 19. Concentration so. much better. Washington steps in the lane. He'll get another one. There's a look at Washington. He's from Lansing, Michigan. I'll tell you what, he is. I don't understand why Michigan State wouldn't go after a guy like that. He is a good-looking player. Seventh all-time leading scorer for Western Michigan. Over 1,200 career points. Michael Lewis pretty much pace guarding. Very similar to the Alt. Kevin Alt last night. 
Travel right there on Kimbrough. He's got both feet moving at the same time. Eddie Hightower right on top of that. Three turnovers for Western Michigan. Indiana looking to tie this ball game up. Now the sticky defense has prevented them from getting the shots they want. Indiana yeah, not getting a lot of penetration from Guyton. Guyton right now very happy to take jump shots. I think once he decides he needs to get some penetration, there they got a little penetration. Now they're going to probably get a better shot. Wrecker outside, just off. And Patterson fights for him. Shot fake. Got to catch that with two hands. Catch it with two hands, you might have a shot. In Good high low right there. That's what high low is all about. It's all about timing, though. You saw the timing between Gladys and Patterson. As soon as he caught it, Patterson opened. Excellent when it works. Kimbrough, he finds Toothman open. Shot is off Jackson there. Wow. And that one banks in and rolls around. More than half of his rebounds, Jackson, are on the offensive board. So he's a guy that you got to get a body on, get him off the board. He goes to the offensive board very hard. Almost eight rebounds a game. Indiana trails by two. Here's Guyton. Finds the open man. Lewis just off. Two on two. Jackson pull pulls up and misses, but there's Washington. Foul from behind. Bernard is very athletic for Western Michigan. For over 45 points a game. He came off a long rebound. Indiana kind of back kind of back to take a look at it right here. Good pull up right here. A Johnson, you can see Washington come in. Not only a good shooter, but he's a good rebounder also. I mean, only had only 19 rebounds coming into the game, but 12 of those were on the offensive board. Charlie Miller and Rob Turner check in for Indiana. Miller getting a nice hand from this crowd. I think this is a big game Rob Turner could really, really play in. I mean, they have a lot of guard play. The thing is, I mean, Rob Turner's got to continue his concentration from one end to the other. His concentration seems to be pretty good on the offensive end, not so good sometimes on the defensive end. Washington hits two, 44. Brad Van Timmerman in for the Broncos. As is Isaac Bullock, number 32. Van Timmerman, a guy that that started a lot of games for Western Michigan. Patterson working inside on Van Timmerman, turning jump shot is off and that's bullock with the rebound yeah to get some good shots inside i got the fourth look andre patterson had inside not able to get any of the ball so far great washington missed on the shot off charlie miller so the broncos off to a good start and they hold a four-point lead you're watching big ten basketball Scoring says you're going to have four guys you take a look at inside. As he gets around, he's going to take the big hop around. Got Gladness coming over, slapping him. Inside pass. And a block. Patterson got that one. Charlie Miller slows it up. AJ Guyton comes off screen. It'd be nice to see. A little shot fake, maybe one or two dribble drives inside. He's glad he continues to catch it down there, kind of gets caught. Rob Turner, we've seen him do that. He fired without the dribble and hit. Defense. I think that's why their defense has improved as Kimbrough steps up and he's not playing three points. Guyton was right there. Kimbrough right actually stepped back a little bit, got some room, and stepped behind the three-point line. Kimbrough hasn't started a lot of games, but he averages almost 10 points a game. He is their fourth leading scorer on the team. Indiana's got the size advantage. Inside, that's where Gladys went with that pass. Patterson off. Miller the rebound. Oh, oh, there's a lot of bodies inside. Not a bad one going on. In there. Nine of them right there in the paint. And Western Michigan comes away with it. Bullock outside is off. Oh, 
Patterson needs to go right down the lane, post up. Patterson thought about the three-point shot. Now go right down the lane, post up. Said he goes and looks away. Pressure on Guyton, he gets rid of it. Good recovery by Western Michigan. A.J. Guyton had the shot right there. They recovered very quickly. Shot clock at five. Patterson can't get that one. Can't get the ball in the hole right now. Indiana's shooting percentage not very good so far in the game. They trail by five. Washington misses. Western Fight for the rebound, and Indiana will have it. Western Michigan has to feel good. Scotty Washington hadn't hit a shot yet, and they're up five. Tisman is back in, and Rashad Johnson back in for some offense. Richard Mandeville checks in for Indiana. See, Western Michigan's not very big. Mandeville really towers over him inside. He comes in at seven feet tall. Glad, as you can see, handling the ball much more on the wing tonight rather than down on the block. Exactly what Coach Donowell would like to see. Turner misses, but Mandeville tips it back. Now a drive inside. Won't count that basket. The foul came before the shot. And that one on Kimbrough. Take a look at it. You can see after the mid shot, good pass by Charlie Miller. He goes inside. Right there was the foul. They called it on Kimbrough, number four. And number three fouls on number four. That's a problem. That's a problem. He does the majority of their ball handling. His assist to turnover ratio is excellent. Mandeville hits the jumper from the free throw line. That could, that could be good. Also for Mandeville, as you take a look, with 8.22 left, Indiana trails 17-14. But Mandeville had a big game against Kentucky. Came in, played extremely well, but a lot of times it depends on whether that first shot goes down or not. Several lead changes already. Now it's Western Michigan by three and a defensive battle from Market Square Arena. Drive to the hoop, what a shot. What a shot. The right and the left, Rashad Johnson switched hands and got the roll. Oh, he's talking as he rolls down the floor too, talking to Rob Turner. 10 points now for Johnson. Indiana's got the high offense, that should leave the basket area open, it does for Miller, and he can't get it to drive. That's the play, I mean, that's the play Indiana has to make Charlie Miller. has got to get that ball in the hole. Indiana getting good shots, but has not capitalized yet. You are watching Big Ten Basketball. Michigan holding a five-point lead. 7.41 left first half, and here's a look at Saudi Washington. Has not hit a field goal yet. Two free throws. Patterson getting some shots, eight, but only making two. Good shots. He's getting down inside, just not able to uh, get them to fall. They're rattling around. There's Patterson on the Indiana bench. That's an ice pack. They used um, to have one of those when I played, but they always put it on my right arm <laughs> when I sit down. <laughs> Keep the swelling from going up from, uh, from usage, huh? Taking those shots. We don't know exactly what that is. He might have a stiff neck. Uh, obviously, uh, he was doing that last night when he came out of the game, too, so we're not exactly sure. Should be back, though, into the game. And Gladness on the baseline, traveled. You can see William Gladness catching the ball. Western Michigan doing a very good job making him catch the ball about five feet farther out than he was last night. They're pushing him out on the floor. He's got to do a better job of holding his position and getting the ball down on the block. Four turnovers now for Indiana. They've only scored four points in the last five minutes and 20 seconds. So Indiana having trouble getting points on the board. Here's a drive by Bullock into the lane and the shot blocked by Charlie Miller. Van Timmerman was wide open and Miller slapped it away. Great reaction by Charlie Miller. He was up very quickly to knock that ball away. Not a lot of time. He's an excellent pass right here. Looks like easy two points to Charlie Miller. Just quick reaction. No time to think, just react. Being a great athlete as he is, he's going to knock that away. Patterson right back in the game. Out of bounds play for Washington. Indiana stops it. Bullock in the lane. Again, the inside pass. And drive. What we play. That's sweet. He looks like Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar never called back. That 
will just dive up off the backboard. Miller on the drive and up. Oh! And a handoff on Van Timmerman. Big play by Charlie Miller. Two big plays in the last 30 seconds. He knocks the ball away. Goes up very high. Throw that one down. Hits the ball in the corner. Washington felt like there was a foul on the screen. Charlie Miller goes up strong. Timberman with the foul. And this crowd loves it. Take a look at it from another angle. Timberman over to block it. He throws it right down on top of him. Big play by Charlie Miller. This crowd very partial as he completes the three-point play. They love Charlie Miller. Indiana trailing by four. He needed a three-point play there. Saudi Washington off. And Bowie comes with that one. Got away with a little bit of a push right there. Bullock. Johnson inside. And shot by Bullock is off. And there's Mandeville. Near steal by Washington. And Indiana retains the lead. Indiana very fortunate. I had an assist right there. The guy took it away from him. Indiana very fortunate. So it's a long outlet pass, and it's not all Richard Mandeville's fault. The guard, A.J. Guyton, needs to come back and get that ball rather than just continue to, to creep down, down the lane. And this foul inside on Andre Patterson as the shot Johnson hit the deck. That's the second time in the last two times yet. You get a chance. That's a good screen right there. That is a good screen. He is not doing anything except screening the man just because Johnson is not looking at him. I mean, he did, he did not lean into him. The guy ran right into him. Steal by Miller. Indiana had 16 steals last night, so the defense was terrific. Guyton flips oh. and hits it. With the left. There's one that rolled in. Indiana trails by two. Washington is blocked. Travis. Well, it's got to be a travel. Well, let's see. They call it jump ball. Well, that's, if, if they're going to call jump, that's fine. But if they're not going to call jump, once he comes back down, he's traveling. So that Jim Burr makes a good call. They feel like Indiana has the ball. Mandeville's got the ball right there. Washington felt like Indiana had fouled him with the body. Western Michigan retains possession. Guyton falls asleep. Gets lucky. He goes long to Mandeville. That's a goal, Tim. And it is. The ball hits the backboard and then was slapped. So Indiana now with seven straight points to tie this game. Good job by Mandeville. You can see the ball's up off the board. Coming down. Definite goal, Tim. But good job by Mandeville getting down the floor for Indiana. Crowd really back into it here at Market Square. They're standing in the lower level here. That's when a guy like Washington usually steps up, just, just like he did right there. He's a money player. Hit that one on the baseline. I'll tell you what, when you look at him, he looks like he's got NBA skills. He's a big body. He's got all the tools to shoot the basketball. Short. I think that's one coach would like to see Mandeville maybe pass. He waited a little bit too long. If you don't have the shot right away, pass it. Didn't get it back. Washington again outside off. And Patterson pulls it down. Indiana would like to run the ball if, if at all possible. Stop and go move. Got gotten the layup, but he missed it. Steal by Recker. He cuts right in front of Washington. What a play by Luke Recker. Another crowd favorite. The loop cheer goes up. Three-point shot by Patterson is off. Comes right back to him. And out of bounds, Indiana. John Jackson felt like it went off Andre Patterson. Eddie Hightower disagrees. He's right underneath the basket. Going to give it to Indiana. Luke Jimenez getting ready to check in. Look at the steal right here. Just all out right there. Lays his body out. Burns all over the knees. Charlie Miller checks out. What a great effort by him. A big three-point play on the baseline. Luke Jimenez sees his first action. Patterson outside. 
again as Bigman continued to set the screen down inside. And a, away from the ball, that foul on Richard Mandeville setting the screen. Called for the foul. Indiana gets called for a lot of blocking fouls right there. You can't move on the screen. Now, a, lot of, a little of that fall has to go to the cutter. The cutter not doing a very good job of setting up his man, taking it down. Because of it, the screener trying to trying to do his job and screen that guy gets caught moving on the screen. That will put Johnson at the line, a one and one. It's the first. Excellent free throw shooter. She's almost 80 percent. 11 points now for Rashad Johnson. Big night last night. NC Charlotte was a preseason top 20 team. Defeated by the Broncos as well as Michigan. They defeated Michigan in Ann Arbor already this year. They've moved the lead up to four. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. And by four, both teams still struggling shooting from the field. You can go online with the Big Ten Conference and get stats and information on your favorite team and the Big Ten. The home page is on the World Wide Web at www.bigten.org. Richard Mandeville getting some playing time here, first half. Field goal percentage, as you mentioned, can't be very good for either team. Both teams have to be shooting about 30%. 31, our computer man. Hey, he won. <laughs> 9 of 29. That's about 30. Both these teams uh, just under 50% on the season. Now, this is a pattern Indiana's had. They've been well below 50% shooting in the first half. Their last eight games, second half, they've shot better than 50%. Foul. Luke Rickard is taking the ball to the basket. He'll shoot two. That one on Sean Jackson. So Rector will be at the line. Big night last night, 19 points, seven rebounds, three assists, three steals. He played 34 minutes. The only trouble he had was two for five from the free throw line. He's an excellent free throw shooter, as you saw there. Had a couple looks here tonight on rebounds, not able to get those in, but he's a guy that just continues to play on both ends of the court. And he's got the defensive assignment of Sade Washington. And that's Washington off the pick. He hit the foot was on the line. Two point shot. A chance to watch Saudi Washington. Watch him read the defense when he comes off of that screen. There's a nice job either, either flaring out or cutting tight over the top. The record on the baseline finds Gladness. Back shot. Record and a layup. Wrecker again moving. Luke Jimenez going to find you. Western Michigan down quickly. Johnson can't find the shot. Johnson and Washington. Good offensive backcourt. Really is. And just do an excellent job reading once and one another. A oh, great move right there around Guyton. A.J. Guyton just going to have to do a better job of using his body. Can't let Johnson get inside that far. Live to the hoop for Johnson. Wrecker outside, off on that three. Number 11, Kylo Jones now in, made that pass. John Jackson didn't get both feet down before he took off with it. Six turnovers now. Western Michigan committed 20 turnovers last night against UNC Charlotte. Tell you what, they beat an awfully good UNC Charlotte team last night. Uh, UNC Charlotte, you mentioned not only a top 20 team, but we saw them play earlier tonight against Southwest Missouri, and uh, they just were a much better team than Southwest Missouri tonight. Guyton. Off on that shot. Man will fight for it, but Washington comes away with it. Three on two. Pass went right through the legs of Toothman and out of bounds. Substitution. Indiana continues to take jump shots. AJ got last, last guy down. He jumps out to pretty when they go in, but Coach Knight would like to see him. You heard Coach Ellenberger tonight. Uh, he talked about Indiana is going to win games from the inside out as we take a look at the turnovers. Not too bad by either team for first half action. 
Western Michigan not letting Indiana catch the ball down on the block. Right here, Andre Patterson's open right there, but Indiana not. And he's got to turn and get the ball. He's got to get him the ball right there. He's got to score. He listened to what you said. Got, got him the ball, and Patterson took the shot up six now for Andre. Indiana's big men, once they screen, they're, they're not turning back into a scoring position. Indiana only down two now. Pretty quick first half, only a minute ten left here in the first half. Johnson, jump shot is off, rebound long. Here comes Indiana. Let's take it right back down inside, if at all possible. Gladness gets his own rebound and lays it back in. He made a lot tougher shot the second time than it was the first, but he'll take it any way he can get it, plus he gets a rebound. How about that? Had no stab, but we've got a tie game, more importantly. Washington That's in sweet. the lane. That's twice he's made a big basket to silence the crowd. You ever watch a really good player like Sade Washington and you just notice how they never look like they're in a hurry. One, even though he had two or three people around him inside, Indiana going to go for the final shot here. Only about one second difference in the shot clock. But Sade Washington never got in a hurry in there. Created space. Got him an easy basket. 13 seconds on the shot clock. That's almost identical with the game clock. Wrecker coming off a low screen, got it in the lane. Patterson jump shot, off, and a foul on the rebound. Second night in a row, Indiana. Last night they tried to go for the last second shot. Andre Patterson took one a little quicker than Coach would have liked. Take a look at it right here. Gladness will pick up the foul to go for the bank shot. Gladness grabs a hold of the arm right there. They're, not, they're not probably going to have time to get the ball down the floor and get a decent shot. Now they're going to get two free throws, so... Coach not very happy with the outcome. It's interesting, on that play, I think if Luke Wrecker would have just continued his cut, he probably would have went all the way in for either a dunk or a layup, but uh, he pulled up short, passed out to Andre Patterson. Ryan Black comes in. Sean Jackson. Sean Jackson is the guy to foul, though. 42%. 16 of 38. He got eight rebounds, missed that one. Shot taken by Gladness before the horn is off. A low scoring first half. Western Michigan has the two point lead, but Indiana's a comeback team. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. Let me tell you about this supernatural sense. Seven turnovers for Indiana. Control the guards right now. Western Michigan's guards with 17. Uh, not a bad job with, since one of them went for 32. Washington 32 last night and inside scoring. That's the real problem. Indiana going to have to get the ball inside and score more points down in the paint. Landon Turner here, former teammate of Ted Kitchell's, member of the 81 national champion team, lives here in Indianapolis. There's a lot of motivational speaking around the country. What a great player he was. Huh? I mean, uh, he was a great leader that led us to that national championship, but it, was, but it was the play of Landon Turner that turned that team around and made us a championship team. We are underway. Indiana has the first possession. Wrecker posts up inside and misses that shot. Gladness with the rebound. You see Indiana going to take it inside right away. They feel like they've got an advantage inside with Wrecker sidewise. Look for Indiana to continue to pound on that point. Western Michigan going to spread it out a little bit here. The 1-4 offense, no one near the three-second lane. You know they're going to Washington, though. Lewis draws that assignment. Washington or Johnson is going to get the shot out of that offense. Tim Burns is set up, man. He's got the ball. Lewis gets caught on a little bit of a screen, and there's two points. Sally Washington doesn't need much room and hits that one. Here's a steal. Pass to Patterson intercepted. He needed to be about three or four inches higher. Washington. The old fake pass and shoot. Crowd wanted to travel, but there's no travel there. That's an excellent play by an excellent player. <laughs> Wrecker in the lane for the layup, mixed up on the switch. Wrecker cut to the hoop. Very similar to play to the one at the first half. In the first half, he caught it and didn't continue onto the basket. There's some openings inside. 
Washington very hot right now. You'd like to see Indiana stop him. He, he's a guy that can really pour some points in. Sean Jackson on the baseline shot set up by Washington. That's a bonus when Sean Jackson scores on a little jump shot, as we mentioned. Not known as a very good shooter, more of a rebounder and a defensive player. Wrecker working a lot more inside this half. Here's Lewis with a cut. And a foul on Washington. Indiana's offense a little low. It's a little little down on the baseline. Not a lot of room to give it to get it. The defense is much more of an advantage being able to help back inside. Charlie Miller. Charlie Miller back in the lineup. Number 13. They go to him on the out-of-bounds play. You see they got basically a four-out one inside here as far as Andre Patterson being the real, the only real big man. Kimbrough, number four, matched up on Luke Recker at 6'6". Six, six. That's a seven-inch height advantage for Recker. But there you see the quickness. This is two right here. Scott does not go in, but Recker picks up the foul. That good a player getting out ahead like that, he's either going to make the basket or you're going to have to foul him. Indiana has to foul him. You see Charlie Miller just gets it down inside. There's just nothing down inside. If you're going to take it down in there, you got to put some type of a shot up. Try to throw it back out against good athletes. And there's the speed of the ball. form we've seen by a free throw shooter. He's got rotation, good bounce, confidence. Well, last, last night we talked about a great free throw shooter, and he uh, we, we missed the first one in nine months. Let's see what else he can do. I don't think so. Yeah, nothing this, with net. This guy's got ice in those veins. Six-point lead. The largest lead for Western has been seven points. He scored six quick points out here in the second half. Andre Tyson gets the ball knocked away. They lead by six with a chance to go up by even more right now. Kimbrough loses in the lane. Now Indiana two on one. Wrecker. Layup is good. Great, great pass by AJ Guyton. Very nice catch. A Wrecker in the finish. Gives his body to protect that from being blocked. Wrecker now on Washington. This is Johnson. And Patterson a good block out. Good defense by Michael Lewis. Johnson, not a shot. He really likes to catch that ball and shoot the ball on the move. Not able to do it that time. Patterson faces up one dribble in the lane. In and out. Indiana retains possession. Nice move by Patterson. We mentioned Andre Patterson. Only 3 of 11 in the first half. Now 3 of 12. But just like that shot right there. He's had a number of them just roll off the rim. Andre Patterson's just got to go right down inside, post up, and get the ball. That was long. Guyton's falling backward on that shot. Charlie Miller, offensive rebound. Into record, give and go. Oh, five! Oh. And he gets the layup. I can't believe that that was skill. There had to be some luck right there. He had no idea. He rolled that ball off the, off the corner of the bank board and it found nothing but the bottom of the net. Right here, look for him to go right back to Washington, though. And he's working in the right corner against Lewis. Shot clock at seven. Shot off, and Gatton fights for it. Foul will go on Jackson. Still a two-point lead for the Broncos. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. It's a back at Market Square where Indiana trails Western Michigan. 39-37. Let's take a look. Little bounce pass. Luke Wrecker. Defender swinging at him. Spin it off the corner and in the basket. Let's take one more look at that. Come on now. Where's his eyes? Is he really looking? He's looking at the defender. He's thinking, I got no... Oh, that's just exactly how I meant it to be. You don't practice that shot very often, is what you're trying to say. Wow. 12 points now for Wrecker. This Wrecker scores a lot of points just because he's very active. Good basketball sent by the former Mr. Basketball. Second half shooting improving for both teams. Got to get it. Got to get it to Andre Patterson down there on the block. 
Western Michigan doing a great job defensively, really hanging back, making it very difficult. There's the pass that got in. Indiana, that time they were much more patient deep offensively. They continued to pass it around, let Patterson work inside, finally able to free him up. Switch with Guyton now on Washington. Johnson in the lane. Shot falls short. Charlie Miller in front. The great pass by Michael Lewis. Oh, they got A.J. Guyton. Right there, Randy Drury felt like Coach Knight definitely did not agree on that call right there. They got A.J. Guyton on the hole, but what a great pass. This is a long pass, not an easy pass to make. Right over the outstretched arms of the Western Michigan defender. Miller catches, finishes. Indiana almost with a steal. He's just over the outstretched hand. Good look by Michael Lewis. Nice finish by Charlie Miller. Guyton went for a steal on the inbound play and was whistled for the foul. I guarantee Washington gets this shot if they get a shot right here. They're going to get Bullock with the foul. Big play by Wrecker. Luke Wrecker, he makes big plays. Look at him. Good hand. Comes up from underneath. You can see Bullock just tackles him right there. Jim Burr right on top of it. First lead Indiana has had since it was 7-6. to six. Guyton in the middle. Miller Miller has been huge off the bench for Indiana here tonight. Let's all remember last night, Charlie Miller got, got about a minute of play at time. Did not play. He's a senior. He knows what needs to be done. He comes off the bench. He's ready. Great feed by Guyton. Miller knows he's going to get the contact, finishes the play, has a chance for three points. The second three-point play of the game, the chance for it. Yes, he makes that one. And Indiana has the five-point lead. Let's break down two. Now they're up five. Patterson pulls the rebound. Pass is deflected. Lewis. Patterson's got to step up and hit that one. Tries to go inside. A kick. Some exciting plays. And now a foul has been called inside. That one. Uh, Sean Jackson. That's his four. four. Well, that was away from the ball, away from the action. Jackson called for the hold. Coach Donowald's got to be wondering what, what the heck happened right there. Because <laughs> I uh, I don't know about you guys, but I, I never saw that foul. Indiana has electrified this crowd with some great offense and some defense. Now a foul on Lewis on the drive. Got him with the push off on the right arm. Take a look at it. Good look right here. You can definitely see, definitely cleared him out right there. Tried to use that right arm to get open. A lot of times they won't call that when the guy is not going up for the shot. Lewis obviously wasn't looking for the shot. A lot of times you'll, they'll let you get by with it. But uh, it's a good call by the official. He cleared him out. Western Michigan a little bit out of sync here. Charlie Miller the steal. Drop to Lewis. And the shot. Miller. Charlie Miller has come to play tonight. A great steal. Look at the smile on his face. Guys, I like being out here on the floor and not sitting over on that bench, he's saying. And he's playing like it. Western Michigan calls for timeout as Indiana has moved out now to a seven-point lead. And Charlie Miller, a big reason for it. 22nd timeout. Nope, they want to pull. They want to pull. Now they go to a full timeout. Indiana's biggest lead of the game at seven. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. In 11-0 run, and part of it set up by defense. Look at Charlie Miller step in the lane a little behind the back. Couldn't quite get the momentum as he loses the ball. Nice little pass. Shot fake up and over. Good defense. 
Makes for awful easy baskets on the other end. Indiana's made its last five shots in the field. Western Michigan has missed its last four. And that's the reason for the big turnaround. Washington off, and Lewis has it. Charlie Miller got a hand on that ball and kept that ball alive, so Michael Lewis is able to come up with it. This is when you got to really take it down inside. Patterson's got to turn around, establish himself, get the ball inside to Patterson, make him foul you, or you got to get the ball to him. Guyton on the crossover dribble, bank shot. Woo. Little twist on the end of that one as he came down, too. Western Michigan now five minutes since they've scored. Stuck on 39. Inside. And that layup good. That was Isaac Bullock. Indiana's big man with their back turned inside. Great cut by Bullock, and he took it all the way to the basket. Guy in the left hand. Shot the shot goes, they get Western Michigan for the block. Randy Drury, who's watching the play, has no idea whether it went in or not. Eddie Hightower says it sure did. Take a look at it, comes off. What's a nice little pass fake? Uh, AJ got really involved here. You can see sliding over. Good call by the official, definite block. The ball goes in. It's the second shot he's made with the left hand tonight. Much better game for Guyton. As you can see, he's dishing that ball off. Seven assists. Converts the three-point play. Last night, he was just not involved in the game at all. His penetration creates so much problem for other teams. We've seen what type of problems Indiana has with penetration. Johnson cut off on the baseline. Johnson likes to talk. I mean, he's talking to the referees about record holding. Turning shot on Lewis is off, and Patterson pulls it down. Look at him fight for it. Andre Patterson fighting for that board. Got to give it to Patterson. Now he comes out. He'd like to see Andre Patterson stay down on that block. Record cuts in the lane. Indiana's offense really starting to move the last three games. Indiana, if you've been watching, Indiana's got more layups in those three games than I think they got the entire year of last year. 14 now for Luke Recker. Western Michigan calls a 20-second timeout, and it's brought to you by Outback Steakhouse. The winning ways with Western Michigan has had six straight winning seasons. Last year, they finished the semifinalists in the Missouri Valley Conference. No surprise with a great coach like Bob Donawald. He's done an excellent job up there at Western Michigan. As we have the first court, getting ready to resume play. Take a look at the last play. It's all set up. A good, good cut. He sets his man up. You see taking him down. Now he come, cuts tight across Western Michigan. Not able to help. Indiana with the easy lay. It looks easy when it's done right. Moving without the ball, a real key for Indiana. And it helped to get them the 18-2 run in the last six minutes. Washington on the baseline. Michael Lewis got caught right there. Couldn't, couldn't get out. William Gladness needs to help him out, step out. Eight. Andre Washington, you just can't hold him down. He had a slow start. He's up to 18 points now. down. Gladness and Miller work on the inside. Patterson now out of the lineup. They're kind of playing a zone back in there right now. Indiana. Shot clock at two and now Good steal. Good defense right there. Washington going to take out. it in. Sure will. And the foul on record. Indiana didn't recognize the change in defenses. Take a look at it. Good defense right here. Michael Lewis gets caught. Shot clock running down. Scotty Washington, excellent player. He's not going to give that ball up, and he shouldn't give it up. Good player like, like he should take it right to the basket. Has a chance for a three-point play. Right at his season's average and misses that free throw. Only a matter of time, lads. We'll jinx them. <laughs> One way or another. 
Kind of a 3-2 zone, falls back into a 2-3. Corners will be open against it. There's Lewis. And back to Wrecker on the baseline. Floating shot off. Got to get a little bit more air under that shot. Right there on the baseline. When you shoot that shot, you've got to shoot that one just up in the air. Kind of a little floater. Lewis now on Washington. He slips and hits the out-of-bounds line. Turnover. Indiana taking control here in the last seven minutes. They now lead it by eight. Ten minutes left in this game. Andre Patterson ready to check back in. Substitution. He's had a good game for Indiana. He comes to Charlie Miller. Miller leads with eight points. Well above his three-point per game average. Against this defense, Indiana's big men need to step right up into the middle of the lane. As soon as that ball is thrown to the top of the key, Gladness or Patterson has to step right up into the middle. As soon as Wrecker steps out of there, you got to step, get it, put it in. Patterson, that's the shot he wanted right in the lane area. That's where the opening is. Good give and go there. Johnson misses the layup. But the tip by Van Timmerman. Here they come. Indiana, not a team that's very comfortable with a lead. Last night we saw them get out to a 16-point lead against Southwest Missouri State. They brought it all the way back to seven. Indiana gets a little sloppy when they get a lead. The Western Michigan team defeated Michigan at Ann Arbor 68-63. They trailed by 11 with nine minutes to go. Came from behind to win that game. Nine and a half minutes now, and they trail it by six. With Lewis at the line. There's a lot of people at home that aren't, aren't real aware of Michigan, but uh, if you aren't, they've beat Duke, who was number one in the country. And they played Syracuse, who was 20th in the country day before yesterday, and they, they only beat them by 32. So uh, Michigan is a team that uh, can play. Lewis hits both. Again, Michael Lewis ought to sleep good after this weekend. He followed Kevin all around all night last night. Kimbrough shot is off and Lewis pulls down. Good rebound by Michael Lewis. Littlest guy on the court. Travel. Guy thought about taking that three and then moved his feet. 12 turnovers for Indiana. Again, sloppy with the basketball when they have the lead. Really, really let Western Michigan kind of off the hook right there. That's where Jonathan's best, right there. Coming off the screen and shooting. If he has time to look, and he says he's not as good, but when he catches it moving off the screen, very good. Guyton stepped out of bounds, almost saved by Lewis on the line as well. Indiana nearly threw that one away. I know that Indiana's figured it out that they're in a zone. Indiana not really working very, very good against the zone. Coach telling them we've got to have some movement inside, guys. Out of bounds play again in the zone. Two, three zone. Record tried to cut up the lane. It's a good play by Luke Record do the same things every time. You got to do some things differently. Patterson, shot is good. Talked about it a little bit ago. Good pass pick to the corner. He steps up right there in that middle. That's where the opening is going to be against the 3-2 zone. If they collapse on you, then you can throw it out to the corners. Indiana by seven. Johnson. Nothing on that three-point shot. Andre Patterson got need a little bit on that rebound, but he's fine. Right at the free throw line. And back outside. Spin. Take it out. You need to get that ball back out on top here, Indiana. 
Plenty of time on the shot clock. Guyton open. Patterson chases it down. Luke Rector kept it alive. And now the steal. Green Gladys needs to work a little bit on his ball handling inside. He, defenses know that he wants to go one way every time he gets the basketball. They really play it towards that hand. Johnson tries to create a shot. And Gladys gets the easy rebound. It's Donald, not very happy with that shot right there. Kimbrough going to get the foul. That one on Kimbrough, put the guy at the line. Four now on Kimbrough. Bullock checks back in. Good look at A.J. Guyton. Hits the first one. He's scoring 16 points a game. Substitution for the Broncos. Number 33, Sean Jackson. Also number 11, Jackson Kylo back Jones. in, as well as Jones. Ben Kimbrough coming out of the game along with Kimbrough. This lineup not near as powerful for Western Michigan. Indiana should really be able to help towards Washington. He's basically the only guy they have in there that is a real scorer. Guyton hits it, and Indiana now leads by eight. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. And before you begin your New Year's Eve, you'll want to be watching at a special time, 4 o'clock, when Indiana opens Big Ten play uh, against top-rated Iowa. Which team will get to ring out the old year with a victory? Be watching Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Keep that champagne on ice, tune us in, and then pop it just before midnight. Celebrate that Indiana victory, huh? Hell yeah. Just under seven minutes left. I mentioned Indiana really has to look to Washington right here. They want to help to him. Basically the only guy on the floor that you see Recker really pick him up. I tell you what, I, I watched that play all the way around, and uh, it's really a tough play. The, the tough call. Four fouls on Recker, and that sends Washington to the line. Still 637 left in the game. Kimbrough back in, so some quick breath for the Western Michigan starters. They're all back in the lineup now. The record come out and drop Turner. Turner's going to have a job if he's on to switch Michael Lewis down to Washington. Turner is on Johnson, so he's still going to have to watch him. 14 for Wrecker as he leaves. Good tournament, though, for the freshman from Auburn. Great game by Wrecker. He just uh, puts it out on the floor every night he shows up. Johnson makes a pass to Washington and came up shooting. That's a good play. See, they put Johnson back in the game. They saw Indiana was helping to Washington. It's going to be very tough to find shots. They continue to stay back in this 1-2-2, 3-2, two, 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 whatever you want to call it, zone. 19 now for Johnson, following up his 17 last night. And the big men need to step in. You've got to get up out of there. We're and gladness. You've got to get it out of there quicker than that. Washington picks up the foul. That'll be his fourth. Gladys is trying to go to Patterson. Really not there, though, and it gets that zone we saw earlier in the year against Temple. If you catch it in that area, you either have a shot very quickly, a pass quickly down low, or you got to get it out of there because you got two guys dropping in from on top of you. He's had three fouls on Washington, so he's still got two more. Gladness, the guy that Western Michigan would like to see shoot free throws. We mentioned he hit... Good percentage from there last night, but not known as a very good free throw shooter. Here's Washington. Good switch there. Guyton stayed with him. Now the pass inside. Western gets a wild shot by Jackson. And you're better off throwing back out if you're Jackson. They're not yelling, get it out of there. Get it out of that corner. You don't want it down that corner unless you got a shot. Good dish that time by Turner. 
he plays the foul line area and he's very very quick he, he would be very tough to guard in there but he can do a lot of things Patterson hits the shot you see how much much more versatile he is in there when he catches it rather than Patterson or Gladness that's uh you know coach that's why he's got over 700 wins because he makes changes like that uh, that's just a great move putting put Rob Turner in the middle of that zone Indiana and coach Knight now is going for a 709th victory he's at 708 right now with that last basket Patterson has passed Ricky Calloway in the 30th place on the all-time IU scoring list 1074 points now for Patterson inside Turner Oh, well, almost got it in. It's warm there. Three or four Broncos will be on you when you get the ball in the lane. You better get out on Johnson, though. Lewis right up on Washington. Takes it away. And steals. Deflects it off of Washington. Michael Lewis. I like the emotion I see in the Indiana team. I haven't seen a lot of emotion the last couple years. This team really getting into it, and it all starts on the defensive end. Stolen. Johnson pulls up and hits it. He likes that pull up shot. Good looking guard tandem Johnson and Rodney. Sure both score. I think it's by far the best one we've seen. Some people might think the Hawaii tandem is better. I, I, I think this tandem. Turner. Him. In and out for three. Timber on the break, Indiana's back. Three-point shot right here, will knock it down to four points. Timeout by Western Michigan. They realize how important this possession is. Three and a half minutes to go, and they're going to take a full timeout. Can they come back against Indiana? You're watching Big Ten Basketball. Seven, three and a half left. Time now to announce the Synergy Power Player of the Game, brought to you by Synergy, where energy comes to life. And Look here's a guy with some life, enthusiastic right here. He is enthusiastic. On both ends of the floor, he's been great defensively. Let's take a good look at Luke right there. He's back on the floor. He's got four fouls, and he'll have Johnson. Johnson and Washington now 16 of 39 from the field, so not good shooting by the two, but still a lot of points. Washington fouled by Lewis. That'll be three free throws as Washington was behind the three-point line. Randy Drury was right on top of it. Michael Lewis, Michael Lewis didn't feel like he fouled, but uh, the guy fouled never feels like he fouled. Take a look at it right here. Oh, he got him right there on the on the shooting arm. Has that shot to fall short? You can just count these three right here. This guy's a money player. This will take it all the way down to four. Washington only 75% from the line. You'd think he'd be a lot more. I got him. You're the best. Again, I tell huh? you, you are the best. I think wow. gonna, other teams are going to hire you around the country. Western just to Michigan geek fans. guys on free throws. Any Western Michigan fans out there cannot be happy. We should be giving him three points. It's two of three, and the lead is five. So some big possessions right here for Indiana. Run some clock and get the good shot. Wrecker. Got to get the ball in the middle, though. Without getting the ball in the middle, just throwing it around. Patterson is off on that shot. He hit the front of the rim again. Indiana looks a little tired, not able to get the ball up over the rim. Bounce pass snuck in there to Jackson for the layup. Western Michigan one shot away from tying this game. Indiana yeah. yeah. had a lot of problems with this zone. Gladness and Patterson work in the lane. Yeah. Wrecker, Guyton, and Lewis on the outside. So Steve Alford go to a zone last night. Good pass inside. Gladness goes right off his fingertips. 15 turnovers for Indiana. Charlie Miller ready to check in, and he does before the ball is in play.
to Charlie Miller. This is when you like to be in the game, when it matters. Double pick for Washington. Timbro to Johnson. He got it. Shot is good. Going to his left. Only two. Two-pointer. It's a one-point game. Coach Donawal has to like this standing over on those sidelines. I think this is when A.J. Guyton really needs to step up. He does. And hits the three-pointer. How about that call, lad? That's the beauty right there, right in front of us. He lets three fly. A big shot. Washington right back. Missed it. And the rebound to Lewis. A.J. Guyton is the zone breaker. And could be the game winner with that big play. I think that was an awfully important shot. He's going to do it again. Another one. Uh, off the top. That was the same spot and open. This one bounces over the backboard. Indiana with a four-point lead with a 132 left. If you're Indiana, not only you have to play good defense, but you got to block out and rebound the basketball. Washington hiding over in the corner. Kimbrough saying, they want to get go busy to. and get open. Oh, he, he does, and hits from deep in the corner. One point game, one minute to go. Indiana takes its time, 18 to shoot. Lewis inside to Patterson and a foul as Andre had position on Aaron Toothman and will go to the line. But Michael Lewis taking a look inside. Easy to find that jump shot. It's available each time down the floor, but you'd like to get it inside, score some points from the free throw line. And a real bonus of getting it inside as Indiana has all night. Now Andre Patterson has the luxury of shooting two rather than the one and one. Hits it. Indiana with 16 fouls, so if they did foul, it'd be a one and one for the Broncos. Ten team fouls on Western Michigan. Indiana will have two shots the rest of the way. Patterson good on both. And, he and needed the three-point lead. 14 points, 14 rebounds for Patterson. With Johnson and Washington, a three-point lead, not very safe. Johnson can't get the shot. Washington's ready. That's short. He missed it, and the rebound, though. No. 25 seconds to play, and the shot clock is off. Good defense by Recker. Nothing there. Great defense by Luke Recker as Washington tried to get him off his feet. Indiana needs to get this ball across the, first, the hit second line. Collision in front of the scorer's table. Jim Burr goes down. And also... John Jackson also goes down. Jim Burr was turning around. Jackson turned around to run. Neither one of them saw one another, and they just uh, collision. Looks like Jackson got the worst of it. Burr is up right in front of the scorer's table. 9.7 seconds left. Trainer Tim Garl and Dr. Larry Rink there. There's Jackson. He looks dazed, but should be all right. Take a look at it. Right on the scorer's bench right here. See, Jackson jumps out. Burr runs into him. Falls kind of on top of him. I think both, both are going to be all right. So Lewis will be at the line. Three-point lead for Indiana. And Lewis has two shots. Great defense, as we talked about on the other end. Johnson and Washington working very hard the trying to find that three. Washington came off the screen. A little pump fake. A loop record. Good defense. Stayed down on both feet. Made him shoot up over the top of him. Not a very good shot. Sade Washington. Needed three to tie, though, and now Lewis can put it away.
Pretty cool there as he swishes that one. Four-point lead. Indiana wants timeout. To that, talk this situation over. They'll, they'll set up and their defense. That will be a full timeout. Bobby Knight looks for his 607th win as a Hoosier coach. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. It's a hard-fought game. Both teams playing well. Here's some other scores. Clemson defeats South Carolina. Connecticut over Hartford in a big way. Marquette in the second half trails Illinois, Chicago. And Arizona, James Madison later on tonight. Iowa up 20 already on Bucknell. Hey, I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. That tough schedule Iowa's been playing. I mean, I keep mouthing off and they'll come into Bloomington. Mississippi State on top of Penn State and the Nittany Lions only one loss through the non-conference schedule. There's Bob Knight, a little strategy with a four-point lead. Usually what he does in that situation, after you make the first free throw, he comes over, sets it up, he says, okay, after Michael makes the second free throw, here's what we're gonna do. And he'll set up what type of defense as far as where they're gonna throw the ball on, where you're looking to, uh, who you're looking to help. Had a major uh, collapse of the scoreboard. They list individual scoring and rebounding fouls, and that part has gone off. They've at least reset the score. Now Indiana by five, 9.7 seconds left, and another timeout by Indiana. Full timeout, timeout called by out. Indiana, by again Indiana. to set this up. And the lead is up to five. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. Indiana by five, and let's take a look at our key play of the game, sponsored by KeyBank. Key for a new America, a defensive play. The this defensive time. end of the court. Someplace I always hated to go down there, but great defense by Luke Recker. You can see how he stayed on his feet. Washington had to take a very poor shot. Good defense right there. In and out. He nearly oh, had that one. Now a push on the rebound, Van Timmerman. Looks like they were going to get Indiana for a travel. There's only one second, one second left in this game. And with a five-point lead, I feel like uh, Indiana can stumble through that last second. Let's get themselves a win. You can see how this uh, Bronco team can be giant killers, though. They, they just stay in the game all the way. And uh, not a great shooting night for Washington, although he's got 25. I'll tell you what. If, I bet you Coach Donovan would love to have one big center that could score some points down inside. I mean, if they, they could get a center that could score 10, 15 points a game down inside with those two guys outside Johnson and Washington, uh, they would be a force, as uh, Indiana has found out here tonight. Patterson hits both, and that's going to do it. Indiana has won it for the 16th straight time. Bob Donawal and Bob Knight. There's Coach Knight talks with Saudi Washington. I think he was very impressed by the play of this young man and wanted him to let play. him know about that before he had a chance to leave the floor. Very seldom do you see Coach Knight go out to a player like that. I think not only that he's such a great player, but the way he carries himself and the way he goes at it, he really plays hard. And there's the handshake with Bob Donawald, his former assistant. A great game. I, I think Coach Knight enjoys playing against former players, uh, coaching against former players and coaches, especially when they're as competitive as uh, Southwest Missouri and Western Michigan were in this tournament. It's Indiana by seven. They're the Hoosier Classic champs. There's the trophy they'll soon receive. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. We made a huge difference in this Indiana team. You see the Indiana team on the bench. They will receive their awards here. No Indiana team has lost at this Union Federal Hoosier Classic. Another guy had a big game was Michael Lewis. He doesn't score a lot, but he's really become the leader of this team. Well, but Michael Lewis ought to, ought to sleep well this weekend after guarding Kevin Alt last night, Washington tonight. He's just done an outstanding job. Had a great weekend for Michael Lewis. Our final score is Indy. The 83 game with Boston College. Indiana won by six. So this one, only one point more, the victory. And we're going to have the all-tournament team stay with us for that. But right now, let's go courtside with Ted Kitchell and Norm Ellenberger for the Ellenberger Report, brought to you by Steak and Shake.
Coach, please. As please. you take a look as they announce the uh, most valuable player. I was looking for my T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get you one, but they ran out. Washington was named uh, the most valuable he player. He that, didn't he? He sure did. He's yeah. an outstanding player. Not only a, a great yeah. shooter, but just the way he carries himself. And uh, Coach, obviously, very impressed when he went out and had something to say with after the game. He, uh, uh, that's one thing Coach Knight has always done when he, he really appreciates a kid that plays that hard and plays that well. And, he always tries to give them a good a good word afterwards. That'll that'll be as good a basketball player as we played against. It's, you know, you, you're not going to find any better one of that of that size for the rest of the year. And, and we really did a pretty good job on him. You know, uh, we you know you're all over him. You're bouncing him around, and shoot, he you couldn't even get him to change expression. You know, you just couldn't. I mean, he wouldn't. Yeah, you know, you'd knock him down. He wouldn't frown, and I, I I wouldn't know. Yeah, I wouldn't know what uh, what you to do to. And I just saw him. He just took the MV, MVP uh, trophy, and he hadn't smiled yet. So those are kind of guys you want to watch out for. I, I, like, I thought he was They'll special. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the first year in Michigan, but uh, you know, Indiana's been shooting the ball pretty pretty well, but uh, teams well below 50%. Three-point field goals, not really a factor. As Indiana only 2 of 14, you can see Western Michigan able to stay close, especially late, shooting 5 of 20. You see the rebounding edge, and really a big edge in the second half. As we mentioned, only 19-18 at halftime. Indiana really pulled away in the second half. Turnovers, both teams did a nice job handling the basketball. Look at the bench scoring, and I think that's probably where Indiana won the basketball game, and it had to do with number three, Charlie Miller. Time now for the sub of the game. So both games for Indiana. Luke Recker, 33 points. Johnson from UNC Charlotte at 44 points. And then the two players from Western Michigan, Rashad Johnson had 40 points and the MVP, a non-Hoosier, for the first time in the classic history. Saudi Washington, 57 points. He really deserved it. Oh, there's no question. He was uh, by far the most uh, outstanding player on the floor. I didn't get a chance to see him last night, but, uh, you know, from what I saw tonight, uh, I was just, uh, I, I was really, really impressed. But uh, of those guys, I also thought that Michael Lewis deserves, a, a, you know, a lot of credit because he only scored 12 points did a nice job handling the basketball and defensively I thought he really did a good job even though Washington scored 25 uh, tonight and even last night on Kevin Alt. All three of those players will need to be big in the Big Ten opener against Iowa. Time now for your internet questions brought to you by Cellular, Ameritech Cellular and Paging. Call 1-800- Be uh, uh, last night, uh, first half went kind of like I thought it would and uh, in this, uh, in this half, I was really pretty, uh, pretty pleased at the half because I thought we'd gotten a lot of really good shots, and and hadn't had uh, much go in, and and and. But I was concerned. This is a, this is the best defensive team that we've played. I mean, you want to, a guy that can really coach is Donawal. I mean, he's a hell of a basketball coach, and and he these kids, I, uh, Johnson and uh, Johnson and Washington. Are, uh, we watched them on tape and watched them play, and I mean, they're just as good as anybody playing anywhere. I mean, that's two really, really good kids. I, I, Washington uh, has got to be a very, very good uh, draft pick as a pro player. Um, he's a great kid. He shoots the ball well. He plays hard. Uh, he's 6'3 or so and plays like he's 6'6". Six, six. I mean, I'd like to have a team full of Saudi Washingtons and, and Johnson the same way. Both uh, seem to be really nice kids. Boy, what really good players. Uh, again, like, like Robbie Eggers last night, I mean, what a great night this was for uh, Charlie Miller, a guy that's just uh, nobody's worked any harder than Charlie has and, and nobody has... Uh, and I hope this is really a liftoff point for Charlie. Uh, I told him last night uh, after the game was over that he was going to get to play tonight and, and to be ready to play. Um, and the same, I mean, that's, again, that's kind of what I think we're all about that not, uh, not many of you understand. Anybody got a question? Like Patterson had a really good effort. Uh, this, this was Patterson's best, I think. He's, he hasn't been feeling well. Uh, he's been uh, uh, really hadn't felt well since the day before yesterday. And uh, he, he came in, he, he, he would come out and say, I'm ready to go back in. And uh, I thought that without any reservation, 
this was the best effort that, and it was great to have uh, Patterson and uh, and uh, uh, Miller be uh, be catalysts for uh, for the game. I think that Mike really uh, Mike made a couple. I mean, he had a a really tough job playing either Washington or Johnson, but he made a couple of great defensive plays. Uh, and one really dumb defensive play, but but a couple of great plays where he came up with the ball. So we, this was, uh, boy, what a good team to play. I mean that that is really, uh, I mean, do they play? The two coaches in the night.